Hey y'all, so here we are for part two of The Thief of Joy. So earlier I talked about comparison and how it robs you of your joy because you are constantly comparing yourself to other people on social media um, because you're not where they are or they're, they're showing, you know, all these expensive vehicles and this Gucci purse and Louis Vuitton and red bottoms and da 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 all this name brand stuff, but they're in debt. So on social media, it appears that they're happy. And this is not the case for everyone, but my point is stop comparing yourself. If you want those things, you can have those things too. But you need to stop being jealous and stop comparing yourself for where they are because you can get there too. Um, if you're like anything like me, I am first generation entrepreneur from my family. Nobody has ever done what I've done. I was the first female in the military in my family. So I have set out and made it a personal goal to break generational curses in my family because I want to leave a legacy for my family, not just for my children, but for my whole family. For generations to come, they're gonna see all that I, they're gonna know that I was here through what I leave behind. Um, and that's not gonna be material things. So building a business and building a brand for yourself and building a name for yourself that is going to continue to bless your family even after you're gone. So write the book, write the song, Build the business. Um, and if you don't know how to do those things, do research. Okay, when you're first generation, you're the one who has to step out and carve a path. The There's no path for you. Nobody left a path for you. So you have to go out and find the things to make it easier for the people to come behind you to step into what you went through. But it's like, you you allow by you putting in the work now allows them to almost like take a bridge and serp and and not have to go through what you went through to get to where you are so you're you're creating a path and you're making it easier um proverbs 29 18 says that when you have no vision you will perish the people will perish so if you don't have a dream if you don't have goals for yourself you're gonna perish you're, you're not gonna you're not leaving anything. You're not aspiring to be better. You're not, you know, let's not focus on the negative. Let's, let's have goals. Let's have dreams. Let's make those dreams a reality and find people who find a mentor, um, and start like with small processes. Like, um, like I mentioned earlier, like the personal development, um, reading your word for maybe five minutes a day or listening to worship music or a motivational uh, YouTube video when you're in the car instead of just listening to the carnal music. Um, find somebody who has already done what you want to do or what you're striving to do. So if you want to um, have your own clothing line, for example, then you need to find somebody and do your own research um, but find somebody who has already gone ahead of you and that way you can, so to speak, take the shortcut, even though we all know there's no shortcut in life. Um, it allows you to not have to go through certain things, um, and bypass certain steps because there's people who have gone ahead of you. So stop comparing yourself find a mentor and seek out, you know, different things. Do your own research. Don't rely on other people to tell you. Do your own research. Um, and if you don't know something, ask. There is no dumb question. The only dumb question is the one not asked. So I hope this, got, this blesses you guys. Y'all have a wonderful night. Love y'all.